just doesn't feel right. It's just so... It's just deserted. It's empty. Oh, no, he left his wellies. All right, I'll drop them. I'll drop them to him next time. Go in never at the end of that. Just, this this place is just just empty. I'm sure it's not going to take long though. There's going to be a lot of people hanging around here very soon, from what I can gather. Anyway, it seems like they're going to have a lot of equipment. At least they'll be making the most of the farm. You know that is a positive. It's nice to see, isn't it? Anyway, I wonder if I could uh, get away with nicking those last few hay bales. Right, I just uh, had to get a quick taxi here, to be honest. I, f I forgot I left the tractor. But we are here now. So, busy day today. Pretty boring, but busy. Let's jump up in there a minute. So, I've got to do the bailing. And obviously, we don't have a baler. So, I have been in contact with the shop. Uh, they have... They haven't got anything I can lease which is frustrating but they have got a baler which they recently had come in which they're trying to sell to me as usual always trying to sell me something but what they've said is I can take the baler uh, and use it for the morning see how I get on with it and if I like it they want me to buy it if I don't like it I do have to take it back uh, from what I can gather they haven't serviced it yet they haven't cleaned it up or anything ready for sale so we will get a little bit of a deal on it which is great you know that's what we want in it we always want to try and get things a little bit cheaper all right let's just make sure there's no one coming so yeah we're going to head to the shop have a look at this baler we have got i've pre-organized it for tomorrow we have got a contracting company coming in. I think they've got big trailers, probably bigger trucks, and they will take the bales away and sell them and obviously just take a small percentage of it as their charge out. So at least we have a way of transporting them because I don't have a front loader. And that was a bit of a concern. I mean, there isn't a lot of money in straw, but I can't just see them sat there going to waste. That that just seems like an absolute real shame. So at least they're going to, to a good use. Now that does remind me actually, now that I'm pulling up, I need to, that must be the baler. I need to get some fuel. I mean, it's absolutely brilliant that Paul drove this over for me, but it's cost an absolute fortune in fuel. I mean, he's used probably three quarters of a tank. So I do need to top it up. I can see the little red dials come on there. Now, I'm assuming I just fill up from here. Maybe not. This is just general fuel. I don't really want that. Where actually is it? I'm trying to avoid these. Ah, there it is. Look. Right, so let's just top up the fuel a minute. And then we'll head around to get that baler. Might as well just reverse back. Seeing as we're kind of in the right direction. So let's reverse right back up. That's got to be the baler. Definitely looks dirty. And as always, dirty means cheap. Let's have a look at this. I mean, like it, what's the positives, I guess? If it's been recently used, at least it's working. You know, if it, if it was too shiny and it had been sat around for a while, you would have to doubt if it was actually any good but it's definitely been used really really recently in fact I can still see a little bit of straw or something in there yeah well we're gonna we're gonna use it we'll see how we get on you know if we're not interested we've only got it until lunchtime now that is not gonna be enough time to bail everything we've got to bail I don't think there's much to do but it's certainly not gonna be a job we do before lunchtime I mean it's already just got 10 because I left bright and early this morning, but it is, does take a good two, three hours just to get a bag. Even in the Mercedes, which obviously I stuck to the speed limit. But it was a bit of a drive. Right, we'll just go in there, let them know we're taking it. Okay, all connected up. Let's just get these other bits connected. Hoses plug in nicely. What about the PTO? That PTO is a little bit of a pain, you know. 
probably just needs a wipe off. I'm sure it's fine. Come on. I really cannot get it in there. There we go. Finally. That was a nightmare. Well, wow, not a very good start, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's head on back. We, we just need to get on with this now. We are now on the clock because we are not paying for it. Can you imagine if we got all of it done before lunchtime? It would be a bit cheeky, but it would save some money. Because everything is costing money at the minute. Especially fuel. The prices of fuel at the minute is ridiculous. Okay, here we are at the first field. I'll tell you what, I think anything bigger than this baler for this tractor would be a struggle. It's powerful, really, really powerful tractor compared to the Zeta. But it is not very powerful at all, actually. Probably should really have looked at that slightly bigger one. Now that the farm's getting bigger, yeah. Right, let's try and turn this on. Now, let's just try this one. Oh, look at that. In fact, i just seen it pick up a bit of straw as I turned around and looked at it. Yeah, this is run. And you know, it sounds sweet. No squeaking, no nothing. I was expecting to get the WD out again. It's doing alright. It is absolutely caked in mud, though. Absolutely caked in mud. If this was ours, we would definitely need to clean this up a little bit well let's go that seems to be running quite sweet all right everything looks good to go slowly make our way around look at that that's great that is absolutely brilliant i do hope there's some sort of beeper or something once it's starting to get full right let's get on with this now shouldn't actually take too long shouldn't take too long at all now, I guess, over the last couple of days, I've had quite a lot to think about. Obviously, we, we spent some time with Mr. Javaskis and, and the father-in-law, Paul, and the mother-in-law. I've seen a, a yard over in court, or in Banwell, actually. I've, I've been calling it the wrong thing all along, but it was a really nice yard. It was actually quite impressive. and I mean, I, I can't believe that no one has snapped it up for the price that it actually was listed at. I can't believe it. It's got some sort of bad history, apparently. Some sort of accidents, and it's not particularly liked by the locals, which is why no one wants to buy it. But it's such a shame. But I really... I don't want to let my nan and granddad down. You know, I, in, I inherited this farm. I'm not about to just jump ship just like that because I've seen something better. I think we've got it pretty good here at the minute. It's, it's a nice-sized farm. Oh, I can hear some beeping. That is very good. The first bale is coming out. Look at that. Quite small. <laughs> yeah, that thing looks like it could produce something much bigger than that. But there is only one size setting on it. There's only one size. I can't change it. I did have a quick look. So that is what it is. But, again, in all fairness... I think if this was any bigger, fully loaded with straw, this tractor would probably struggle. So, this is probably about right for us, you know, about what we need to do. Still running sweet as well. I was hoping I would have caught it while it was open to see what the inside was like, but maybe I'll get it on the next one. Anyway, come on, we've got to get back to the job. So, just talking about the farm, you know, we, we've got it pretty good here. I think now that we're starting to make some money, we're, we're earning... It would be a shame. I've put a lot of effort into getting it set up. You know, don't forget, we, we've had the barn rebuilt. We had the actual house built. There's a lot of work and time has gone into this place. But, it's not for nothing. I guess the value of it is probably shot up completely since we first took over. So, mm, I'm really stuck, if I'm honest with you. That, that yard, back in Banwell, that, that was just fantastic. It was just perfect. It's almost what I would kind of dream of doing, to be honest. It had everything we needed. And we are really starting to lose a bit of space here now. In fact, to be honest, I probably need to head back to that big garden centre and look at more sheds, because we are really struggling. I don't know what to do. I don't I'm just 
I'm just worried my nan and granddad would be disappointed in me. Just for kind of packing up and leaving. I don't know. Maybe they'd be proud. Maybe they'd be proud that we, we've made a thing for ourselves. And we're moving on to bigger things. I really don't know what to do. One thing's for sure though. I've only been home a few hours. And I do miss Mr. Javaskis already. Wow, that is it done. Let's turn off this engine for a minute. Pretty good. There's a few little bits we missed. It's just the way it is though. I could spend the rest of my day here just clearing up these last little bits. But we did a pretty good job. Obviously this is only the first field. But how many bales did we get? So we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One behind, that's nine. I mean, pretty good, I'm happy. First ever harvest, nine bales, as well as, you know, what was it, 13 tons of of seed? Amazing. Well, it has gone past lunch already, by the way. And we've still got the top two to do. So, we're, um, we're at a point where we need to drop this baler back. But do you know what? I, I really want it. So I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to phone him. I'm just going to keep using it. And then when I get back to the shop, I'll see what kind of deal I can sort out. I'm a bit tight on money. Probably down to... I mean, it sounds a great deal, but this has got to last me the, the rest of the year, really. We've got a lot of outgoing soon, but I've probably got about 35 grand at the minute. And we've pretty much got all of the equipment that we need to just kind of make ourselves self-sufficient. 
So I do feel maybe a baler is the right thing to do. Maybe. And what I did notice, I had a good look at all the moving parts, but this is actually one, it's got an attacher. And I believe this attaches to like a wrapper, which trails behind it as well. So obviously not straw, but I mean, if we give that grass field a good go, I mean, we might only get one or two bales, but a wrapper, we'll just wrap it. We could, we could start feeding those cows some silage, some better food, a bit better than just grass and hay. That isn't great for them. And I didn't realise at the time, but that little calf, which is growing pretty fast, is actually a girl. So one little girl in there with two big boys. I think maybe we're going to need to start producing some more food soon. So I do feel the baler is the way to go. Definitely. I would really hope this less than 20,000. I really hope it is. I mean, it is pretty dirty and worn. I'll have to speak to them about that. But I think if that's less than 20,000, that's going to be a great deal. And the tractor does all right. The tractor does all right. I lost traction a little bit in a few places, mainly on the hills. But it does all right. It pulls it okay. Definitely can't see us getting anything bigger. Right. Now, we're going to have to head on to the main road again. Head up to the last couple of little fields. This shouldn't take too long. Okay, I went through the woods for a bit of a change. Why not? Now, I think it's still set up ready to go. So all I've got to do is flick the power button. And it's ready to go. Amazing. Right. I can't imagine these will take very long. To be honest. I don't even know if we're going to get a single bale out of these ones. We'll have to see how we get on. That is it. We are done. Didn't take too long at all actually. Now let's just get this raised. So I've lifted it. Wonderful. And we've pretty much just emptied the baler as well, so it's not like we're wasting any. But I do I wanna buy it. I do wanna buy it. Definitely. How many did we get this time around? So, one, two, three. Three bales here. I tell you what, I keep looking at this and I can't help but feel that my nan and granddad would be so disappointed that I didn't harvest that. Such a waste, they would say. Good job Mr. Travascus is in there as well. He wouldn't be too happy with me if he's seen that. That wouldn't be good. And just the one in this field but that's not bad that's really not too bad so what's that 13 bales i may have missed one or two as well to be honest so this you know th 13 14 bales great just a little extra bit of side income really isn't it definitely helps towards the baler anyway this thing is i feel it's it's worth the money i feel it is worth the money Right, I need to head back to the shop. I'll take it with me, but I'll see if I can get some sort of deal. If the deal isn't good enough, then I don't want it. But I'm sure they'll do me a good deal. They're normally pretty good. Hmm, that is strange. Why is he just looking at me? Well, it confirms it. He's obviously out. He's obviously out of hospital. Hmm. Strange. Well, I locked the house up anyway, so 
I'm not too concerned. I am going to keep an eye on that though in my mirrors. Very strange. He's following me, you know. Okay. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I'm just gonna keep an eye on my mirror. Surely he's not still coming. This is a little bit strange now. I can still see him in my mirror. Right, wow. Weird. Maybe just coincidence. I can't see him now in my mirror though. I could have sworn for a second he was following me. I'm overthinking it. I mean, there's no way that he knew that, that I was there that night. And I mean, oh no, he is still following me. Right, at least there's people around. This is bizarre behaviour though. Very, very strange behaviour. Maybe he's just driving past. I'm not going to think of it too much anyway. I need to sort out this. Sort out this baler. Very strange. What is going on? What is good? What, why is he just. Right, so, something's going on here. Let's just sort this out and get on home again. I want to get back to the farm to be honest. I don't want to leave Loretta there on the road where he's got weirdos like this going around. Wow. Good news. Good news all round. First bit of good news is he's gone. You must have got bored. That's just. That's just strange. Maybe you knew. Maybe you knew it was me. The second piece of good news which is kind of all that's important, is we have got this, 18,500. So, winded it down a bit. I mean, hey, I said it, if it was under 20 grand, it seems like a good deal. 18,500. I am really happy with that. It doesn't leave me with a huge amount of money left, but it's certainly enough to survive. And they also threw in a jet wash. I could have do it myself, though. It's charming, but he's giving me a little token. So if I'm cheeky, if I'm fast enough, we'll give this a real quick wash down and I'll see if I can get some of this dirt off of this tractor. And in all fairness, I don't think this has been cleaned for months. Even by my standards, this is pretty dirty. So we'll give it a quick blast. I don't know how much we'll actually get off though, to be honest, but let's get started. I have spoken to Loretta quick while I was in there. I mean, to be fair, I've been in there about half an hour. And she's locked all the doors and everything, so I'm not too concerned. We'll give this a quick hose down. And then we'll head straight back to the farm. Not really much more to do tonight, to be honest with you. Do need to check in that those uh, bailing contractors are still coming tomorrow to collect those bales. We really need those gone before it starts raining. Anyway, let's see how long this token's going to last us. I've used this once before and I know it's a pretty powerful thing. This is coming out alright. Fantastic. This is a real clean piece of equipment once you clean it up. Looks alright that. This looks really good. Don't know how long we've got left on the timer. 20 seconds. Go on, let's get this around here quick. We can do this super fast I'm sure. He's over there. What? What is going on? Oh, now the time has run out. Brilliant. I'm gonna have to watch myself. This is quite concerning, actually. 
Yeah, I need to keep an eye on myself. And I need to keep an eye on Loretta, most importantly. Right, well, I'm gonna get home. I, I've had enough today. Let's get home as quick as I can. Hmm, not very good. Won't be long, boy.